East Norfolk Sixth Form College and we are almost equidistant between Great Yarmouth and Lower Stock. So uh, we're sort of, we're, a big barrier we have is obviously the North Sea, but although you could call it a barrier, it's also a source of uh, the energy sector where a lot of our students are interested in working. So we started very, very small. Um, that was three years ago. We asked other employers who weren't able to actually give us work placements, but were able to give up their time to help us. We asked them to help us produce a booklet aimed at employers. So aimed at explaining to employers what we were looking for. And at that time, we were still looking at work experience. We weren't looking at work-related learning. And the employers told us that actually the word work experience isn't a good term to use because it's connotations with year 10 students in the two week long. So we called it internships, and that fitted in also quite well with supported internships. And we went to employers and asked them to, to have a look at this and to decide whether they would be able to work with us. We also took the quite bold step of putting on a business breakfast, something we've never done before. A sixth form college doesn't normally think of putting on business breakfast. So we looked carefully about who we should invite and lots of people came to support us. And we were fortunate that two of the people who agreed to speak were actually people who had agreed to take students on. So we had an accountancy firm, um, Level Blake, and also Guardline, really extolling the virtues of having students on work, work placements. So one of the things we then looked at was how to engage our staff. And in order to engage the staff and to further network, we put on last year an employer engagement networking event. Now this was CPD for our staff, but also aimed at encouraging employers to come along, meet our staff, um, talk to our staff about what they want to see in our uh, students and also hopefully make our staff think actually this is something I want to buy into because as one of the speakers said earlier, a lot of us, and I'm, I'm one, teachers come from a very traditional degree background, I've never worked outside education, so we have a lot of staff in that same situation and it was trying to sort of win their hearts and minds as well. A, a recent success was Taste a Day for Girls, Girls Allowed into the Energy industry and that was a, a great success. It's also really good um, CSR, corporate social responsibility for the company. Uh, they get a lot of positive publicity out of doing this and also they are interested in our students and they're looking at their future workforce.